Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about the differences in wire ADM between a water-based dielectric and an oil-based dielectric. So traditionally, most people are familiar with a water-based dielectric uh, on wire ADM. Uh, this is because it's by far the most common out there. Um, machining speeds are going to be quite fast and through doing multiple passes, uh, multiple cuts, you can achieve a, a pretty good surface finish and for the vast majority of customers, this is acceptable. So on an oil-based uh, dielectric, what you can get out of that is you can get a much, much finer surface finish and that's because you have a much smaller spark gap uh, in the oil. Um, and what you can also do uh, to achieve that smaller spark gap is that's because you're holding a much finer uh, conductivity level. Whereas in water-based EDM, that conductivity level is gonna change as you're machining. On oil, it stays very consistent. So you're gonna have uh, a much more consistent gap. You're gonna hold higher accuracies. And because that gap is smaller, you can get down to those finer finishes. Uh, the secondary item is if you're machining items like tungsten carbide or steels that want to uh, rust, um, because you're machining them in oil and not water, uh, you're not going to rust in the oil. And then with the items like tungsten carbide, when they sit in water, the cobalt wants to leach out uh, of the binder of the carbide. Uh, so by switching to oil versus water, you will eliminate that issue as well. The only drawback about oil-based machining, it, although the accuracy and surface finish is far superior, uh, is time. So machining speeds will typically be anywhere in the range of two to three times slower uh, as the traditional water-based wire EDM. Uh, but if you're trying to achieve ultra-fine accuracy and surface finish, then oil-based wire EDM is the way to go. So those are the differences between uh, Wire EDM machining in water versus oil.